Dear students, in this module, we are going to look at the scoring schemes for the intact protein or peptide mass. You would know that MS1 or the first analysis in the mass spectrometer chamber gives you the intact mass of the molecule in the sample. The molecule in the sample may be peptide or a protein depending upon the protocol that you are using. So once you have the molecular weight of the protein or the peptide from MS1, then you can use this mass and compare it with the mass of all the proteins in the protein database. So on one side you have the MS1, the molecular weight from mass spectrometer and on the other side you have the molecular weight of all the proteins in the protein database. The protein database can be uniprot or swissprot and so on and so forth. So you can simply calculate the molecular weight of each protein within the database and compare it with the molecular weight that is reported by the mass spectrometer. So this is the idea of calculating the intact protein mass from the database and comparing it with the MS1 molecular weight. You must remember that before you proceed with this activity, you have to convert the mass over charge ratio to be coming from charge plus one only. If there are multiple charge states such as plus two, plus three, plus four, then the same molecule will be reported at different positions of mass over charge axis. This can add complexity. To your analysis. So if you make sure that all of your peaks are actually coming from molecules with plus one charge, then your analysis becomes extremely simple. So once you have all mass over charge ratios coming from plus one molecules, the charge, then you can take them for onward analysis and scoring. So once you have this molecular weight from the MS1 and all the molecular weights from the database, then you can compare each one of them together and the two molecular weights that are closest, you rank them to be number one. So if the match is a little lesser, then you rank them to be number two and so on and so forth. So you will end up with a list of ranked proteins with the top ranking protein being the closest in mass to the mass reported from the mass spectrometer. Let me give you an example how to make sure that the mass over charge ratio is coming from the molecules with charge plus one only. So here in this example you have a peptide with mass 2000 that was injected into the mass spectrometer and luckily it got plus one plus two and plus three charges. So I am sure you know that this is not possible through MALDI ionization technique rather this is due to the ESI ionization. Okay so where will the mass over charge ratio peaks appear? These peaks will appear at three different positions because you have three different charges on the protein. The first peak will be at 2001, the second peak will be at 1001 and the third peak will be at 666.7 Daltons. Let me draw them for you here. So you will have three different peaks. The smallest one will be coming from this one. This will be here and this peak will be here. So your job is to find out this peak. Of course, if you are careful, you can use a little bit of mathematical manipulation to arrive at this peak by simply scanning these two values between the range of 1 and 5. So now, towards scoring. So you want to appreciate or you want to uh, rank the protein from the database which is closer in mass with your sample to be higher so that you can uh, then have a list of proteins that are 
more matching to your sample. We have to look at a mathematical formulation to arrive at the scores. In this score, you have the mass from the experiment, you have the mass from the database, you subtract them together, take a square and then a square root to take the absolute values and you take the reciprocal of this difference. So in this equation, the proteins that are closer in mass to the uh, sample will be having a bigger score. So I'll give you an example here. So if you have a protein sequence from the protein database, let's say Uniprot, and the sequence here is very small to make a simple example, then you can simply add up the molecular weight of these amino acids to arrive at the whole protein molecular weight. There is an online tool that is given here at the bottom that you can also use. Okay, so you can compare this mass with the mass from the experiment and therefore score the protein. In this way, you can obtain scores for all the proteins in the protein database. So, dear students, in conclusion, the philosophy of scoring intact mass is that those proteins that are closer or similar in mass in the database to those proteins in the sample will get a higher rank and will be a closer in match. The score is awarded on the basis of theoretical mass calculation from the database as well versus the mass from the sample.